Hello everyone, it is me, GTA King, here on this great, wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Yes, great, wonderful Thursday. Today is the thir first Thursday of 2024. Uh, this is right after Rockstar has removed the snow inside the game. This vehicle you are looking at on my screen for right now. It is the Park Ranger SUV. This is only available on the Xbox Series X and S and the PlayStation 5. You will not get this on old gen GTA it will not be on the Xbox one or the PlayStation 4 version of this game now you cannot buy this vehicle right away but I'm going to teach you some tricks and and how to unlock it and all that right here in this video but before we get all into that go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on post notifications now there's a few different ways to get this vehicle. You can find someone inside the game that already has it. And you can buy it off of them at the LS car meet. Or you can do give cars a friend glitch for it via MOC or the facility method as of today when this car is released. Prior to this car, this car coming out in the game, you did have to go up kind of close to Mount Chiliad where you did the Yeti outfit hunt and you had to get a two to three star one level and then you had to do the MLC method to save it okay so but now you do have some options you can unlock it and I'm gonna show y'all here just how to do that here in just a minute or you can buy it off of someone at the LS car meet or you can try to get one to spawn one in the game and I'll show you that again here in the map and you can save it through the GC2F or you can buy it off of someone at the LS car meet now to unlock it in game to be able to buy it on Warstock and Carry you will have to take one picture of any animal now unfortunately you can't kill the animals and then take the picture. You have to take a picture of them alive and then send it off to the wildlife people, the picture inside the game. Now, if you want to unlock the trade price of this vehicle, you're going to have to take 10 pictures of animals. Now there is an outfit that you can unlock if you take pictures of three animals. But it's not a park ranger outfit, it's a different type of outfit. Now you can find animals in the city and up all around the map. But now if you just want to get this car to spawn in, so you can do GC2F to save it, then you just want to come up here where I'm going to show you all. Just right about in here where you did your little Yeti hunt to get the Yeti outfit back when there was snow inside the game. To get the outfit, you just want to find a, a way to get a two to three star one at level in this area, and hopefully, it'll get. It'll spawn in. Now, it'll be very rare that it spawns in. And you might have to try more than once. And then you're going to need two people in the lobby. A, with you. So you can do GC2F. Because somebody's got to sit inside the car. For it to uh, not despawn. And you're going to have to be getting glitched out for the facility. Or the MLC method, and somebody's gonna have to help you glitch out. Now, I already had the vehicle. I did not unlock it on my male character yet, but I unlocked it on my female. I already modded the vehicle, as you can see. This is a 
3D paint job on street tires. And I did pull up, put up a poll on my social media platform on X for y'all to vote on. On which one I do a giveaway on. I do have another version but I will not be showing it in this video. And it's for a double end game unselected it, uh, version on Benny's with matching rim code. Now. After being inside the game for quite a little bit, you will get an email inside the game from these people right here, and it will tell you each day what three animals that they would like pictures of. Today, on my male character, they want a cat, a poodle, and a hen. Now, when I was playing on my female character, animals that they wanted me to look for and take pictures of was a cat, a rabbit, and a hen. So it's going to be different for each person of what three animals that they are looking for and this does change daily. So today's Thursday so come tomorrow Friday I will be asked to look for three different animals. But once you take a picture of an animal doesn't matter which animal doesn't have to be animal on that list you will unlock the park ranger car to buy on more stock and carry other than that you can just go straight to the uh, LS car meet with another player that already has it as a personal vehicle and you can buy it off of them or you can go up there in the mountains area where I showed you and you can try to get it to uh, spawn in. Now I'm going to show you a little area right here where you can usually find a stray cat in the game or just any type of cat. There's a nightclub over here in this area and if you find the nightclub in the alleyway of the nightclub you will usually find a stray animal in the alleyway of the nightclub so you're just looking for the nightclub and usually in the alleyway where that garage door and I'll show you where this area is at on the map. It's like right in here somewhere. I just gotta find it here. The exact building. There we go. But I will tell you this here. One animal that will be hard for y'all to get a picture of is the mountain lion up there in the mountains the reason why it will be hard for y'all to get a picture of is due to the fact once it spots you it's a rat it's gonna attack you so I just pull up my phone and pull up the camera inside the game and I'm just gonna take the picture and then I'm gonna send it off and there we go I unlocked the park ranger car where I could buy it and I also checked off one of the animals that it, it the game is asking me to take a picture of so if I want to complete the daily challenge, and I think it is daily, a lot of people are saying it is daily that the list will change. Some people are saying it is weekly. So this part here is weekly. 
a but i think the list does change every day and what they ask for this is brand new to the game a but i am now able to purchase the park ranger on both characters on my account And yes, you can store this in a garage. Now, I will tell you this here. Just a heads up. You cannot modify this car inside the LS Customs. You cannot modify it inside the LS Customs. The only places that you can modify this car is inside your arena, your auto shop, your office uh, garage, where you have a mechanic shop inside your office there, office garage, your CEO office. And you can modify it inside your Avenger. And I believe also inside of your MOC if you have the uh, vehicle workshop. But I know you can modify it inside of your agency, your auto shop, office garage arena uh, garage but you cannot modify this car in the LS car meet or inside the LS customs so I hope y'all did find this video helpful and if y'all did go ahead and smash that like button subscribe to my channel and turn on those post notifications and I will catch y'all inside the next video. Peace out and I'm gone.